Hey, in this video, we're going to go over this product, Calconic. It's a tool that allows you to create really powerful and attractive calculators and embed them or share them from your website. Great lead magnets, great for uh, a substitute for just a boring old form. So stay tuned for this one. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today I'm going to take a look at this product called Calconic. They make your calculators iconic. See, I like I like websites that the name kind of resonates and makes sense. What it does, it makes calculators on your website. So you might be thinking, well, why in the world do I need some calculators on my website? It's a great lead magnet. And I really like their website here because they show you right away some examples of how you can create some calculators and what would you do with calculators I mean you if you have anything that needs to be calculated you could use it for that you could put these behind a password gate um, so that you collect lead information in fact I believe they have an example where they can get their results sent to an email address so you're capturing that email address putting it into your um, into your sales funnel so there's a lot of great reasons why you would have a calculator and this particular product looks really robust because you'll notice that they've got some integrated PayPal checkout so you can actually calculate let's say I had a big party and I'm going to be a nine hour trip I don't know what we're going to do but it tells me how much it's going to cost and I can pay right away so I really like um, how nice these looks from a style sheet perspective uh, and, and the power of them in fact if you go to calculator widgets for example on their website they got lots of examples and I, I don't know I'm assuming I can use these as templates um, we're gonna log in and, and see but let, let's do dog year I, I just have I've got a little dog he's uh, kind of old he just had a stroke um, but the doctor said in five days he would recover and be fine and you know he actually is so I'm really surprised but you know he's about 68 years in human years but you can kind of see here, you can put some pretty good formulas, it looks like. And then go ahead and build your calculator and embed it into your website and do all sorts of stuff. And the pricing, hey, it has what, what I like, a free plan. Now, the free, I notice, is going to give you five active calculators and a shareable link. Whereas if you do start to pay, you get all the embed options. And that's what I would like to do is actually embed it on a landing page or something like that that way you can put that that login uh, that call to action button in front of it but you also have the advanced tools like the PayPal we looked at and, and emailing results and things like that you see on social media everybody's always filling out these little quizzes to see what kind of animal they are or what kind of vegetable they are and getting this results emailed but there's a lot of other great use cases for this as well uh, so let's sign up let's sign up and, and take a look at their onboarding and see how far we get in terms of actually building a calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and let's put in my name. Let's put in my email. TechSmartBoss.com. You can reach me there. Let's put in a password. And confirm it, hopefully. All right. And, uh, you know, I, I like to see their email. So I'm going to go ahead and check that. I like to give me the option. I can sign up with Facebook, but, you know, I don't like to do that. Because if Facebook bans you, you just lost your account. So in these days, who knows what Facebook is going to do? Wow, oh, wow. I clicked that button, and that sure did create my account really doggone fast. So no wizard or onboarding um, from that perspective. It just gives me a big old call to action here, create a calculator, new from blank, or use a template. Before I do this, actually, I'm going to click around a little bit. Let's see what else I got over here. I got my user billing. Uh, I'm on the free looks like a little bonus I get the premium for 13 days if I uh, something going on there I don't have any calculators so that's where I can create some new ones there so really simple interface I mean there's not a lot of things here so let's go ahead and make a new calculator get back to that page there we go let's use a template um, and see how the templates come in so here's an example of one let's take a look at this um, Look like can I scroll up on this? Yeah. Okay. So there's all the let's, let's see if we can find that dog one that I was playing. There we go. Dog gear calculator. All right. So let's let's use this template and see what exactly I can do within this product. So it, it lays it out. I see here uh, clearly a list of 
objects that I can drag and drop I'm sure it looks like each element of this is kind of numbered and referenced here and if I were to click on one of these yes so it's going to open up a panel where I can get my show some features here put an actual formula editor which looks pretty cool decimal places looks like I got some math functions I can do here which is nice I can clone it I can delete it I can move it up and down um, let's take a look at what this one looks like I got my gauge scale so you know clearly this is saying to me two things there's a lot of power here there's a lot of customization um, but it's also something that's going to take some some time to work with and play around with experiment with to get exactly uh, what you want this is not going to be a it's not a, a a click through a wizard and get things out of the box type of thing but you can kind of see here let's see let's add an option option number four there I could probably expand I'll say really large more than a hundred pounds you got a hundred pound dog you got a really large dog and um, let's see if it adds that there yeah it does so you know I would have to play around and see how to link things together from a formula look see if I got a, a large dog it's doing some pretty complicated math to get. I thought you just took the number the age of the dog times um, seven but I guess I was wrong it's a whole lot of factors when you calculate the human age of a dog I didn't know all that but anyway, let's let's see what else I got here calculator settings uh, I can format my numbers pretty well I got some advanced JSON here so this is interesting you can create multiple steps for your calculator and I guess pass information between the steps so wow we're getting really advanced here so what what I'm seeing is, is one you got the style sheet you got the power you're not writing code um, but you're gonna have to spend some time figuring out let's actually do one from scratch see what that gives us blank calculator here I'm just gonna call this uh, keto macros I see I'm, I'm, I'm doing keto right now and uh, enjoying it actually but let's see what happens if I do that so add an element there we go let's add a radio box so let's click on the radio there we go and I got my options there okay that, that, that makes sense let's add a new element let's add a separating line I got me a little line there let's add a select field so I mean it's not difficult but you really do have to think about the logic of your calculator what you want to do let's see if I can add the mail result yep yeah, let's click on that and see what I can do in that so it's got some stuff pre-filled information block um, a formula block so this is where I guess based on the what you fill in here you can start to fill out your formula let's op let's open that up in a rich text editor and see what I can do so this is referencing my numbers there so I can say you know take whatever they put in number one multiply it by number two divide it by this add an exponent of this number and then take the tangent and round it off. I mean, they're not a formula, but you can see you can get into some crazy calculus uh, up into this thing. So, a pretty straightforward and simple. What I would suggest, and what I would like to see, is more guidance in terms of walking you through the setup. And I, 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 I'm not seeing this. Uh, that's a logout button there. I'm not seeing per se a set of tutorial files and onboarding that gets me there quickly so I got to do a little bit more research on this but what I do see is a beautiful interface and a lot of power in terms of what you can do from a calculator perspective and as a tech smart boss I like that because you can't a lot of these tools that are making these calculators are very simple and I'm seeing that this tool allows you to do some really advanced calculators, which is going to be a useful lead magnet, it's going to add value, and that's going to be something that somebody wants to opt into uh, to get that value. Let's look at the rent calculator here. So, yeah, you know, all sorts of, you know, this is great for a business. You're renting it. You have a pet. You can see the upcharge on it. You know, really good stuff here. And I think what you would have to do is kind of get into the templates, find elements you like 
and then figure out what they're doing to get those results so that you can replicate it into your environment so hey i hope you like this video check out calconic a lot of power here decent price start for free uh, and if you do like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Every week we come up with a new video where I'm showing you some new software. And also check out our Facebook page. We're doing some fun stuff out there as well. Check out the next video.